The third step in the neuroplasticity super protocol is to generate repetitions. When you do something over and over and over again in a fairly short period of time, your nervous system recognizes that and it acts as a trigger for neuroplasticity, for those neural circuits to change so that later, after the neural plasticity has been consolidated, you can perform that thing reflexively without even having to try. Now, it's important that as you generate repetitions, you follow a simple principle. And the simple principle is to generate as many repetitions as you safely can in a given unit of time. And I say safely can because for certain things like motor skills, if you start doing things too fast, you can injure yourself or worse. But for most things like learning math or learning a language or learning any type of new information, you wanna push yourself in order to generate as many repetitions in a way that almost seems like you're a little bit hurried. That bit of hurry or that sense of hurry actually leads to a further increase in focus and alertness. And so while generating repetitions can feel like a little bit of a race against time, that's actually the state of mind that you want to access in order to trigger plasticity.